Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. Hello, good day everyone. I am Apostle Daniel Akpai. Um, if you are here for the first time, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to heal, hit the bell icon. And I believe that as you do that, anytime we, I drop a video on this channel, you'll be able to get notification that a video has just been uploaded. And today we are looking at this uh, controversial topic. Uh, I've heard a lot of people argue about this and today I want to address this particular topic. Does God allow women to preach in church? Are women allowed to preach um, uh, in churches? So we need to know the mind of God concerning this topic and be speaking with biblical fact. Are women allowed to preach in the church? So we need to know. But before we continue, let's look at First uh, Corinthians. So I'll be reading in the Bible to back up my claims. So let's go. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as says the law. Hmm. As he is the law. So Paul asks them, the women in Corinth, not to speak in church while the service is ongoing because that is how the law of the land, the custom of the land demanded. All right? The law, according to the law. Remember, as at this time, the church was going through persecution because um, the, the law of the land was against the church. So Paul had to admonish the church to be careful not to do anything that will make the government come after them. Remember, they were going through persecution this time. Don't preach according to the law. The law and the custom of the land. Not because God forbade it. Not because God uh, uh, rebukes them for doing that. They were only trying to respect the law of the land. Remember, the Bible always asks us to respect the law of the land. Very, very important. Alright, so now let's see the book of Timothy. The book of 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. We are going to see something here. Paul said, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. This is Paul too speaking. He said the women should not teach. They should keep quiet in church. Now, for us to now conclude on this verse to say that women are not allowed to teach, looking at these two scriptures I just shared with us, is a display of our ignorance because we choose not to go for that to study what the Bible says. All right, but this video will really help you. So we will not just look at one particular verse and capitalize what that verse. We need to know why it was spoken. We need to know who it was spoken to. We need to know the law, the custom of the land as at that time. So in the book of Timothy again, Paul admonished people. Remember, what he said in the book of Timothy is different from what he said in the book of 1 Corinthians. In 1 Corinthians, he said the women should not speak in church. Remember, speaking is different from preaching. But in the book of Timothy, he said women should not preach. At this time, Paul was speaking to the Greek women. Because the Greek, the Greek custom prohibits, stops women from doing anything public. The only thing women were permitted to do in Greek was to be at home, cook for their husband, take care of their husband, take care of their children. That the Greek women coming out, anytime they were even coming out, they must be veiled, they must be properly covered everywhere. That was the law of the land. 
So Paul now speaking to them, asking them to obey the law of the land, that since the law prohibits and the law rejects women from doing something that has to do with the public, the women must not preach in church. So this was not written to the Jewish women because the Jewish women did not have this law forbidding them from speaking in the public. So for every letter Paul wrote, he wrote according to the law of the land to ensure that the church obeyed the laws and the custom of the land. Okay. Now let me show you something. In the book of Joel, in the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 28, it speaks about how Joel prophesied that on the last day, God was going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. All right? He prophesied how God was going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, how sons and daughters will prophesy. Now let's look at the book of Acts of Apostle, chapter 2, verse 17. Acts of Apostle, chapter 2, verse 17. The Bible says, this is in fulfillment of what Joel prophesied. And it came to pass in the last day, says, the, the, says God, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Did you hear that? Who and who? Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see vision. And your old men shall dream dreams. Verse 18. And on my servants, talking about the men, men now, the, the male, the boys. On my servants and on my handsmaid, talking about ladies. Talking about female, handsmaid, ladies. I will pour out in those, in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. You see this? No discrimination. God said he was going to pour his spirit in the book of Joel. And the act of apostle, they waited. The last days began from act of apostle. The spirit came. When they were at Pentecost, there are over about 120 of them, both male and female. The power rested on, on them and God and Jesus gave them a great commission. Go into the world and preach the gospel. The commission that Jesus gave was not limited to the men alone, that men should go and preach alone. Everyone at Pentecost received the delegated assignment that we should go into the world and preach the gospel. He said the gospel be heard in Samaria, in Judea, even to the uttermost part of the earth, through those people who had encounter with this fire at Pentecost, whether male, whether female. So I will pour it upon my handmaids. I will pour it upon my servant. This is the voice of God. Okay, someone may be saying, can you show us from the scripture the women that were used by God? Women who prophesied, women who were prophets, women who preached? And I'm going to show you. One of them was Miriam. Miriam was a sister to prophet Moses. And Miriam was the third person that uh, Miriam, Aaron, Moses were the people who, whom God used to bring the people out of Egypt. So she participated. She spoke to the people. Speaking has to do with preaching. Another person was Deborah. Deborah was a judge. God used her to judge the people. We had Hoodla. We have Phoebe. Phoebe, this one happened in New Testament. Someone may be saying, all these people I mentioned were Old Testament. What about Phoebe? Phoebe was someone who preached in New Testament. We have a lot of them. All right? A lot of them that were used by God. So God does not discriminate gender. So God can still use women. So there were women used in the Bible. So when, we, when, the, when Paul said women should not preach in church, do not read only that place. Know the custom of the land. Now remember from the first place we read from, Acts of Apostles chapter 14 verse 34. Paul forbade them for, from preaching because of the law, not because he told them, not because he asked them. He forbade them because of the law of the land. Let me show you something. Let me show you something now. 1 Timothy 2.12. You know what Paul said? He said, I forbid you. I forbid women from preaching in church. All right? I forbid. Paul said, I forbid. It was Paul that forbade it. It was not God. 
It was Paul that clearly spoke that women should not preach according to the custom, not God. So God can use women. Women can preach in church. God does not discriminate that. I hope this blessed you. God bless you.